Hello everyone, if you are waiting for an important event such as wedding, conference or party then Edaccount can help you keep track of the remaining days until that event. Moreover, when working on a project with specific deadlines, Edaccount Countdown helps you track the number of days left until the submission or completion of the date. It serves as a visual reminder of the approaching deadline and helps you manage your time effectively. Here in Excel, you can count down within a click. So this is Jihadri Anjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to create a day countdown in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data city bit. Here we have set the Summer Olympics 2024 as our event and the date of the event is 26 July 2024. Our target is to count down from the remaining days from today. So without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we'll use today function to create a day count in Excel. To do that, we'll go to B4 cell and insert the formula. At first, we'll select the event date which is in the C3 cell. Now, as we are trying to get the countdown, so we need to get the remaining days from 2A. So, we'll use the subtract sign minus and now we'll use the today function. So, today function is used to return the current date formatted as a date option. Now, we'll write down it and click the enter button. So, the result of this calculation will be the number of days between the date in the C3 and the current date. The result will be positive if the date is in the C3 is in the future but it can be also negative if the date has already passed. So, we can easily use it for our deadline or any kind of overdue also. So, that's today function to create a day count in Excel. In our new method, we want to use the combination of roundup and now function to create a day countdown in Excel. To do that, we'll again go to the B4 cell and insert the roundup function. So, we'll round down the roundup function which basically rounds up a number away from the zero. Now, we'll go for our first cell of the event which is in the C3 cell. Now, we are trying to get the remaining days. So, we'll use the subtract sign minus and as we are trying to get the countdown from today, so we'll write down the now option which returns the current date and time formatted as a time or date. After that, we'll go for our last number digits, which is in this case, we want to show how many decimal places we want to show in our result. As we are trying to show no decimal places, so write down 0 as our number digits. If we click the enter button, then we'll get our perfect result in the B4 cell. So that's how we can easily use the combination of roundup and now function to get a day countdown in Excel. Suppose now you have a data set where the starting date of the event have already passed and the countdown function has used any of the previous two methods like in this case you have gone for the C3 and then you have subtract the value from today function like the first method. If you click the enter button, then it will show a negative result, but we don't want a negative result. So we want to avoid the negative numbers and show zero instead of that. Here in our new method, we can easily do this by using the combination of max and today function. At first, go to the B4 cell and insert the max function. The max function returns the largest value and ignores the logical values or text. But in this case, it will compare the result of the subtraction within the value in it. Now, insert it will go for the larger value. 
as we want to get the zero instead of negative numbers so we'll write down zero as our larger value after that we want to compare the value along with the subtraction sign so we'll go for the c3 main event past and go for the today date so we'll go for the today this portion will subtract the value from today the days have passed and then within the max function it will compare the value within it and after that it will return the value within the positive zero sign so now we'll go for the enter button and get the perfect zero result in our case so in this case we have used the combination of max and today function to get a positive result for the past days so that's it for today you can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below Hope this will help you if you have any questions suggestions or feedback please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at excelm.com thanks for watching us if you like this video please consider subscribing for more content like this